Alrighty then, welcome back to your 21st tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be going over a special type of loop called the do loop. <laughs> yes, this is what you guys have been waiting for, the do loop. So I can't remember what tutorial it was, I want to say the last tutorial but it's been a couple days since I've been at my computer so I'm not positive but a couple tutorials ago we went over a special kind of loop called the while loop and what this loop basically did is it tested a condition and so long as that condition was true it ran a bit of code so you have a condition test it and if it's true run a bit of code over and over until you test the stop basically well what the do while loop does is basically take this structure and it flips it upside down it's gonna run a bit of code first and then it's gonna test if a condition was true and if it is true it's gonna run it again until it's false so it basically since it runs the code before it tests the condition even if that condition is false it already ran the code once so anytime you wanna ensure that you run your code at least once this is what you need to do so that's basically it let's go ahead and uh, take a look at an example right here and whoa easy script boxes don't get that close to each other so let's go ahead and make a counter variable um, make it X I'm gonna set my n equal to 5 because you know starting at 0 and 1 it's getting old let's start at 5 because you know why not my tutorial so now the structure for the do all loop is this go ahead and write do do and then go ahead and write whatever code you want and I'm just gonna go ahead and write like document write um, let's go ahead and write the variable first so we can see so it'll be five to begin with and then go ahead and write stupid something stupid on the screen like hello and then just go ahead and add a line break because we're gonna be printing this out a bunch of times and we don't want it all on the same line and when you're done of course add your semicolon aka semicolon and now go ahead and increment X because we don't want it to stay in the same number the whole time or else this loops gonna run forever so now after you have your coding syntax now is where you put the while right here so we have to give it condition to test just write like while X is less than or equal to 20 and then add your semicolon at the end so as you can see it's set up a little bit different then the basic while loop first of all it has a semicolon at the end and second you have your condition before your test and also the special do keyword or you know special word whatever you want to call it so let's go ahead and save this and take a look at it and see what it does actually let me go ahead and add some space there I may make it easier to see it goes 5 low 6 low 7 low 8 low 9 low 10 low I won't go through them all so it goes all the way until it says x is less than or equal to 20 and then it stops so let's go ahead and take a look one more time why this happens oh, stupid windows 7 shaking the boxes put them down shaking them and put them up but when I'm trying to make a tutorial I'm like yeah this window right here doesn't work like that so anyways what we have here is a variable x that started at 5 so this code regardless of what the condition is it didn't even look at the condition yet it's running right now and then it says alright I'm done running the code and now you want me to run it again as long as x is less than 20 well the next time I run since we increment the x it's gonna be 6 and I'm gonna keep doing this keep incrementing x each time 7 8 9 all the way to 20 and then once it gets to 21 it says alright is x less than or equal to 20 no it's greater than 20 so that's when your loop shuts off and quits so that's why you go 5 all the way to 20 because 20 is in fact less than or equal to 20 it's equal to 20 so that's the basics of a do while loop um let me show you a case scenario where x could be like 35 see in this example the condition isn't true at all but this loop is gonna go ahead and run one time so let me just go ahead and run that 35 lo and then it's gonna shut off immediately after that so whereas if we were to stick this in a while loop it would never run since it tested the condition first but since we're in a do while loop what it does is it runs the code at least one time and then it tests the condition so by the time it sees that it's false it already ran it at least once so that's why it printed out so anyways that's the main difference between a do loop or excuse me a do while loop and a basic while loop is pretty much a while loop 
flipped upside down and you guarantee to run it at least one time so you're going to see when we're programming when this is going to come in handy and when a while loop is going to be necessary but for now just want to give you guys the basics so thank you guys for watching um if you have any questions don't forget i have a website and a forum you can check out and also don't forget to subscribe so i will see you guys later